shock continues after a shooting killed two people and injured five others. It happened in the Lower Ninth Ward. Those injured include a two-year-old and four-year-old boy. They are both in critical condition this afternoon. A 13-year-old girl and a 37-year-old woman are in stable condition. It happened Sunday night in the 5400 block of Burgundy Street. That's near Andre Street. WDSU reporter Travers Mackel live for us from headquarters, police headquarters, the very latest on this investigation. Travers. That's right, Camille. Police just wrapped up a press conference. We know the identity of both of the people killed. We'll get to that in just a moment. But like you all said, the very latest information, two people have been released from an area hospital. The other three remain in critical condition. And check out this video from earlier today in the Lower Ninth Ward where the shooting happened. A prayer vigil. A lot of people from this area came out. They were bringing stuffed animals, pictures, and other things, praying to stop the violence in that area. Now, the two people who were killed last night are identified as Terrence McBride and Jasmine Anderson. We all know by now this was a drive-by shooting. Seven people in all shot. The police superintendent, Ronald Surpass, tells us that he believes McBride was the intended target and that guns and drugs did play a role. We caught up with somebody who was on the porch last night where this shooting went down. She described the scene to us. It was just on the porch and they just drove up and just started shooting crazy, on them, shooting everybody. They just was shooting everybody. They just shot everybody, just except for me and my son and my little nephew. Don't want just and get hit. You get ready for it. Just so. Oh my God! I mean, that little girl was just standing there with one of her arms on the thing. She, she was standing there, like this whole bunch was just so packed. Everybody was sitting outside. We all, all the children was playing, and the boy was walking up and down. He got shot in the face. He was just holding his face. I couldn't just see. I just got up. Everybody was on the ground. I just was like, help. Crime Stoppers is offering a $5,000 reward for any information. Police tell us that homicide detectives are actively working this case, but they have not announced any suspects at this time. We should also point out that police and the city council person who represents that area were casing the scene today, going door to door, coming up in five, what they were doing down there at the scene. For now, reporting on your side live at NOPD headquarters, I'm Travers Mackle, WDSU News.